Hey, so today's project is to turn this metal into a functioning quarter panel on the Subaru. We are going to need to cut a piece of square out, weld it in, and then shape it to mesh the wheel arch. Stay tuned to see how it goes. So my next step is starting to build the patch for this piece of missing metal on the quarter. What I'm gonna do is take a piece of cardboard, trace it out, make a template, cut it, on some steel and weld it in. So I'm gonna have to cut this in kind of a weird way. I made this section bigger than what I need uh, because I'm going to need to make some sort of arch for the wheel well that'll meet up with the bumper. So essentially what I'm gonna have to do is make a piece that's bigger, weld it in, get the bumper put on to find where that arch meets on both sides and then shape it from there. I think that's gonna be the easiest way to do this. So I've got my piece of steel fitting just about how I want it to. What I'm going to do next is prep the surface to tack that up in there and then from there I'll start doing shaping and see where we can get with it. So I went ahead and welded this plate in, just tacked it, that's all it's going to need. It's definitely going to stay, but it's not pretty. A little Harbor Freight welder, that's good enough. So we're going to run with that and just fill it in with body filler. I didn't want to do much welding because the gas tank's right there. And if that caught on fire, that would not be fun. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. So this is me just jumping into the other side. I'm gonna be tacking it in, and then once I have it all tacked in, I just go ahead and sand down the tack welds. So this is the other side completely done. It's gonna be doing the job. It's in there nice and strong, it's not going anywhere. You know my welds suck, but Hey, that's just how it is. All right, so now that I got this piece of the quarter on, I need to get the bumper back on to see the arch of the wheel, so that way I can shape it. So I got this back quarter shaped. Next step, do some body filler, then get it all closed in. And then after that, damn near done. That's all I have to do. The ending part is cover up the back because there's still some gap right there that I need to deal with. I'll probably just do fiberglass throughout there like I did everywhere else, just because it won't be seen and it'll be watertight. So in this episode, we got a lot of the work done. We got all of the metal patched in on the rear quarters. The next step is to bondo and prime. That'll be happening in the next episode. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like and subscribe.
catch you in the next one.